because Hamilton and I were texting about this last night. Um, we got to talk about Brock Purdy and his 310 yard, two touchdown performance. Yes. Was he the sharpest out there, out the gates especially? No. Did he find his rhythm though in the second half? Yes. So if we're going to credit guys like Daniel Jones for doing that, we sure as hell are going to credit Brock Purdy. There's this, let me get this straight. Let me see what I want to say here. There is this uh, gross, incessant need to try to take away from what this kid, not a first round draft pick, not a first overall, what Brock Purdy is doing, and it's becoming gross. It's just nauseating. You can't go on Twitter during a Niners game without seeing people just trying to poke holes in his lack of air yards or depth of target or comparing him to Jimmy Garoppolo up and down. There are also people like our guy, though, Sam Munson, who we love of PFF fame, who are saying, yeah, let's give 100% of the credit to Kyle Shanahan. We love you, Munson, but come on. Uh, Brock Purdy has proven he's good. Uh, Come on. What? I... uh, Sam and I love you and I love you. No one wants to admit it, question mark. Like what's, what are we, is it the draft choice? Is it the, are we still in the world in the air and the smoke of Trey Lance? Like what are we doing here? We're in an era of absolute physical specimen at the quarterback spot. Guys like Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson who can chuck it 100 yards downfield. They can run. They can give us these jaw-dropping highlights. They look like Madden every single week and cheat codes. Brock Purdy will never be that. And that's why I like him, okay? Those things aren't exactly and exclusively what make a quarterback successful. And this is a pretty good damn deep ball, by the way. So everyone out there, everyone in the world, he's Jimmy Garoppolo. He's, well, first of all, He's not. Second of all, I don't know. That was very nice. That was a pretty perfect throw, wouldn't you say? And I hope that you think that would shut everybody up, but it didn't. I was so mad at Twitter. Twitter like kicked me out this morning. We're trying to figure out. Anybody know my password? Literally. Do you have a guess for what my Twitter? Like, yeah, no idea. Um, and don't put that on social because I don't need people logging me off of being able to try to log in. Okay, you. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was looking at Brock Purdy, and it's not just all those athletic things, which are incredible, but it takes a lot to be successful in this league. Look at the best to ever play it in Tom Brady, and I'm not comparing the two of them, but the, the ability uh, to command an offense, to have poise in the pocket. Brock showed that. Wink Martindale was like, here's the sink. We're going to throw everything at you. And they just couldn't cash in, okay? He sent 31 blitzes his way. You have to be able to stand there, bright lights, with, with Captain Andrew Luck on the sideline somewhere, he's trying to distract you. You have to make the right reads. You gotta get the ball out on time. You gotta get the ball out accurately. You gotta avoid turnovers. I know those aren't the sexiest traits, but they're the foundation. They were matter as matters that Brock Purdy has excelled at all of those things. When you have Kyle Shanahan's system and you have CMC and you have Debo and Kittle and all that talent around you, you don't need to exactly be the Madden cover boy to be successful. In fact, I bet you the Madden cover boy would trade in the Madden cover for some deep success in the playoffs and into the Super Bowl. Am I wrong? At Up and Adam Show, let me know, guys. We appreciate so much the live chat. Oh, I don't think I have the right live chat. I'll get that in the break. I'm not seeing what you guys are writing. Put your comments there and we'll chat in a little bit. Um, we're, by the way, we're trying to get, um, we're trying to get Darius Slayton on the show the leading receiver for the G-Men. We're going to see if he can hop on, obviously, a very long flight home, but such a stud, such a fan of him, and what was a loss, but a a, a nice performance, at least, from him, uh, emerging as a trusted guy. Um, Back to Brock. We know Brock doesn't have a big arm. We know he doesn't have all of the physical traits, guys, some of these other quarterbacks have, but it doesn't mean he's not good. And I think I liked what Kirk Herbstreit was saying yesterday when he was talking about Brock being a great fit for what the Niners do, what they need to do, how well he runs an offense, how well he's able to do that, in, in concert with Shanahan, of course. And he sort of admitted that he might not be as successful as uh, in other systems or other teams with less talent because of the size and his arm strength. And I think that that's fair to say, but that's the thing. He's not on another team. And he's not going to be on another team right now, so everyone can just zip it. He's on this one, and he runs the system better than any other quarterback that Shanahan's had since he got to San Francisco in 2017 when he was leaving backpacks and talking about Lil Wayne, okay? It was a long time ago that he's been there. He's 10-0 in games that he's fin- he's played and finished. Brock, keep it rolling. Let them talk about you. We know how Debo comes on our show every Tuesday, and he will this week, to talk about you. Um, and, and, and everyone out there can talk about your air yards when you're at the podium lifting the Lombardi in Vegas. Hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest Up and Adams content right on YouTube.